The opioid epidemic continues to sweep the nation. Are tougher sentences for the actual drug dealers the way to solve it? 20 states have laws to charge distributors with murder in cases of accidental overdose deaths. So could this be the answer to solving the crisis nationwide, making everybody culpable and responsible? Here to debate is Jay Jonas. He's a recovered opioid uh, addict and founder of the Truth Recovery Center. And Jana uh, Sp Spillbore is here, a criminal defense attorney you see here on the channel. So you think this is a, a good way to go, Jay, right? I do believe it's a good way to go. In what respect? Because you, would, you were buying and using, and you really think the, uh, the distributor should be the one who's in just as much trouble if you overdose. I think if I overdose and I die, that the drug dealer um, knows how dangerous it is when he is dealing it. But he's already breaking, or she is already breaking the law. How fearful would they be of, of, circum of, of your consequences? I think if they knew that they would get in that type of trouble for an, for an overdose, then, you know, it might scare them a little more at least. John, uh, legally, a bunch of states have picked up on this. You, yes. you, you think it's a bridge too far? I, legally, I think it's a really sticky way to go because, it, like we were talking off the air, when a drug dealer is dealing drugs, right, that, that's one thing, and that in itself is illegal. When you possess those drugs, you are also breaking the law. And when you put them in your mouth, you are complicit in your own death if you do, in fact, overdose and die. So to put the onus on simply the drug dealer for doing that, I think, goes a little bit too far, legally speaking. There's a case of a 43-year-old selling to an 18-year-old. It's not 18-year-old and a 20-year-old. So a 43-year-old more culpable, you would think, because they're responsible, trying to hook that 18-year-old, trying to get a customer, trying to make an addict. But hang on, look at the slippery slope argument here. If that's the case, then what about the 18-year-old's parents who didn't do enough to stop him or her from being on drugs? What about the doctors who prescribe opioids for legitimate purposes? What about the pharmacy that gives them to you? I mean, where do we stop that chain if we, right. if we go ahead and charge people with murder for giving somebody the drug? Well, um, Jay, you want to uh, add to that? Because, number one, you put your mindset in, in the old you, yeah. the one that needed drugs. Yeah. Were, you, were you susceptible to the sale? To the upgrade of the sale, were they were they trying to bring uh, to get you to do more? There are times that it is that way because obviously at one point I wanted to, but then there are points where I'd say no, I, I can't come by, and they'd say oh we'll drop the price ten dollars, no problem. And in that situation, it's hard to say no, obviously, but. At the same time, I, I, I don't disagree. I mean, I think the person going to get the drugs is guilty as well, but they're mm -hmm. no longer with us, so you can't charge them anyway. And then there's also a slippery slope, slope with what you said as far as um, the parent not doing nothing. So I spoke to a, a parent who uh, uh, sent me a Facebook message before I got here. She said, you know, you can use my daughter's first name. Her name's Ava. She passed away of an overdose May 11th of last year. And, um, you know, she would say it's murder. And she didn't hesitate to tell me right when I posted it, you know. So it's, it's hard to say. And obviously, you know, the parents would disagree that they didn't do enough. And it's who's to say what anyone can do is enough. John, is this a good argument, legal argument? If I don't intend to run somebody over, but I went to a bar, I had too many drinks, mm -hmm. and I run somebody over, and they die. That right. wasn't my intent. Right. But am I responsible? In that case, yes, you would be, but the difference here is the person who you ran over wasn't breaking the law, wasn't doing anything wrong, wasn't complicit in the death. When you hand, some, when you hand a drug addict a drug and they take Two it... Two people are breaking also, the law. Right. They're both breaking the law. They're both complicit. And let me just be clear here. I would love to see drug dealers charged with murder. Legally speaking, I don't think it's viable. Understood. Uh, Jay, glad you're okay. Glad you're helping other mm -hmm. people. Jonathan, thanks for bringing...